This application note is an overview of GeoShred 3, its support for AU3 plugins, and for iCloud file sharing. So GeoShred 3, the main new feature in GeoShred 3 is support for GeoShred to be an AU3 plugin for things like GarageBand, for Cubasis, for AUM. AU3 opens a whole lot of new opportunities where you can route audio or you can route MIDI to lots of different new ways of doing things. It's great for DAWs, it's great for running through effects, it's great for uh, using GeoShred to, uh, as a MIDI controller to control other synths. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, let's take a look at a quick example. I'm going to use GarageBand initially for the quick example, but we're also going to look at examples using AUM, using Cubasis, using AudioBus 3. Uh, all of those things are able to work with AU3 plugins. So let's take a look at this quick example. I'm going to create a new document, and I'm going to create a, uh, an internal tra external track recording using uh, audio unit extensions, and I'm going to choose GeoShred as the audio unit extension, and it's loading the plugin now. There we go. I'm going to look at the, the plugin, and there's the full GeoShred, everything in GeoShred running as an AU3 plugin under GarageBand. Okay, let's go ahead and make a recording. I'm going to go ahead and record. I, by the way, I've chosen the steel Dobro acoustic, which is preset number two. Okay, so there's my recording. Let's go ahead and stop it. And uh, let's listen to it. We'll go here to the track view, and we'll see we we'll recorded a whole lot of really sophisticated MPE style MIDI. And let's go ahead and just play it back and see what it sounds like. That sounds great. Okay. So let's go ahead and rewind that. So what, let's, now add a second instance of the plugin. I'll use this plus sign here. External audio unit extensions, and I'm going to add in GeoShred a second time. Okay, there we go. I'm going to choose uh, Shred Lead. And I'm going to go ahead and improvise uh, some electric guitar on top of that Dobro. Okay, let's go ahead and record. Okay, let's look at our track view again. And we've got these uh, two nice things here. We've got the, the Dobro uh, sound and we've got the electric. And let's go ahead and play it and hear what it sounds like. And I'm going to bring up the, uh, the track settings. Um, I think the electric guitar was a little loud, so I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. That's beautiful. Okay, the second example, uh, we'll use AudioBus 3 to route MIDI from uh, GeoShred, the AU3 plugin, to uh, Phoneme, the AU3 plugin. So let's go ahead and start AudioBus 3. And uh, AudioBus 3 is great because not only does it route audio, but it also routes MIDI. So we'll choose MIDI, and for input, we're gonna choose GeoShred uh, as an audio unit. And for output, we're gonna choose uh, Phoneme, really fun synthesizer. And now we're going to go here to GeoShred, and you see the GeoShred and Phoneme are running. And that's beautiful. 
I am routing MIDI very easily. Um, you could also do the same thing with the standalone GeoShred app and the standalone phoning app using virtual MIDI, but it's it's a bit easier to do in the context of the AU3 plugin. I'm gonna do an example with AUM now. So I'll go ahead and do AUM and um, I'm gonna add a new thing. Actually, I'm gonna put the flanger here. I'm gonna use the, uh, the Foxglove flanger as a processing unit and uh, I'll go ahead and turn the feedback up so that you can hear it. We'll just close that out of the way. Now we'll add GeoShred as a source. Um, there we go. It's loading. We'll let it finish loading. And there we go. We'll make, it, make the window a little bit bigger. And yeah, you can definitely hear that flanger. So that's uh, using GeoShred as a source. Um, an MP, an AU3 source, and is being processed through an AU3 uh, effects unit. That's great. Now with Cubasis, we'll go ahead and start Cubasis. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. I'll just call it T, and uh, I'm going to go here and add a, a MIDI instrument, and I'll go here to the little piano. And I'll slide over the instrument thing and do back arrow. On here, I'm going to choose audio units. I'm going to choose GeoShred, the audio unit, and it's loading it right now. And we can get this out of the way. Great. And uh, we'll go ahead and expand it. And let's go ahead and do a let's go ahead and do a quick recording. Okay, and we'll go ahead and stop that, and um, we'll go ahead and turn that off, and we will um, go ahead and rewind. There's the MIDI recording, and let's play it back. Nice. For some hosts, if you change the orientation of your device after the plugin has been loaded, there may be some challenges. So here's a couple tips. I've got AUM here, and I'm going to go ahead and load GeoShred into AUM in portrait mode. So let's go ahead and resize the window here, and we have a beautiful portrait mode. It's a little bit disaligned right there, so we'll just go ahead and minimize and maximize, and it's perfectly aligned. There you have it, a portrait version of GeoShred. However, if I change the orientation, the rotation of the device, it does that, and um, the window is actually, the host is actually sending the window of this size. So the solution to this problem is to have your device in the rotational orientation that you're interested in when you load the plugin. Here we have AUM in landscape mode, and I'm gonna go ahead and load GeoShred. There we go. And we'll go ahead and launch it, and we'll resize the window here. And we'll use that little trick to minimize and maximize the window to redraw the keyboard, and there it is, beautiful GeoShred in landscape mode in AUM. Another great feature of GeoShred 3 is support for iCloud and other cloud-based file systems. This means that you can save presets to your iCloud Drive, you could restore them from your iCloud Drive, and you can even import backing tracks from your iCloud Drive. Let's take a look at this. Here I'm looking at my iCloud Drive on my desktop, and I have a new preset called Power Finger Swell. I really like this preset, and I want to save it and then restore it onto another one of my devices. Let's take a look. So that's Power Finger Swell. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, save this to my iCloud Drive. I'm going to export it, and you'll see that you get this nice file browser, and I'm gonna to go to my iCloud Drive, and there's a directory there called GeoShred, and I'm gonna add it to GeoShred. And if we take a look up here now, on my desktop computer, Power Finger Swell um, appeared. It's been stored up in the cloud. Okay, I'm here on a different device now that's also running GeoShred. Let's go ahead and go to import. I'm gonna go ahead and import, and I'm gonna look at my iCloud Drive, 
and I'm gonna see there's a folder here called GeoShred, and there's Power Finger Swell, and I've just imported it into GeoShred. So there you have it. I can also use the import command to import a backing track into GeoShred. So let's go ahead here and go import, and we'll go out to iCloud, and let's look in the GeoShred directory, and I have a backing track right here. And it's being imported into GeoShred, and now if I go, there we go, imported. And now if I go here to set backing track, and I go file, and I choose that backing track, I can hit play. So there you have it, GeoShred with AU3 plugin support and support for iCloud file sharing.